1133. Welcome back. Breakfast television, live shot from the Century Plaza Hotel and Spa on Burrard Street. Pink shirt day. Dr. Shimmy Kang is here, and this is all about this day putting an end to bullying, but yeah. we need to understand it first. Right. Yes. So what is the difference, this is definitely what I want to know, between bullying and just general conflict? Great question, because the, the term bullying can be overused. So bullying is, there's three parts to it. Uh, number one, there has to be a power difference. So either size or position or how many friends you have versus uh, the person who is an individual. Number two, there's an intent to harm. Harm. So there's an intent, purposeful intent to cause harm to that person, either physically or psychologically. And then number three, it's repetitive. And that's different from, let's say, normal peer conflict, which generally would have no power imbalance. It'd be two people who get into a conflict over a political issue or whatever it might be. There's no intent to harm in that conflict, um, and then generally they can work it out. Now, mean behavior is in the middle of that. Um, so mean behavior is there's not an intent to harm. It kind of happens spontaneously, maybe on the school ground or in the workplace, someone's having a bad day and they just kind of blow up at someone um, and they often feel bad about it. So those are the kind of the three different ways to look at social conflict, mean behavior and bullying. And would you have any advice for parents who are dealing, and I'm thinking about the kids in my life who don't know the difference between bullying and conflict. What's an easy way to explain that to them? Well, I think you want to say, um, did the person mean to hurt you? And is it happening more uh, more than once and often? Um, and it's not, and I don't want to say that mean behavior isn't harmful. Um, it can be really difficult for an individual. But really we want to use the term carefully because a, child or person who feels they're being bullied will internalize it and feel anxiety and um, have a hard time. So we want to really define those for people, um, young people especially, so they can go out in the world and know the difference. You know, and we're talking so much today, sometimes I feel like we go, put an end to bullying and you bullies, we're coming after you. But let's talk about the bullies yeah. for a second and what they're going through. Why do people, young and old, bully? Bullying is really fundamentally all about control and power. And when you think about what's underneath that is actually insecurity. Right. So young kids, especially who are bullies, often um, have low self-confidence themselves. Many of them have been bullied. Uh, they may not have the social skills on how to communicate. Uh, so there's all kinds of reasons uh, behind that. And it's a really good opportunity, definitely at a young age, to get in there early with compassion and education and training and give that young person the confidence, the social skills, um, the encouragement they need to change their behavior. So bullying has really had an evolution since we were kids. Uh, now we have cyberspace. What is your experience with how kids are dealing with bullying online? It, you know, kids are living online and um, teens and young adults are living online and we're all living online. So it's really important. Um, it is manifesting there for sure. Um, I'm just going to give you an example. There's an app called Sahara, which is where you can make anonymous comments. So that is a tool, actually, if you think about it, for bullying. Um, um, you know, there's some nice comments, but by and large, when I've seen my patients um, show me that, there's a lot of mean comments. So social media allows the disconnection of reality, um, of the eye contact, the social cues that would normally uh, give a clue to the bully that what they're saying is mean or hurtful. Um, it also allows it being anonymous, so you can get away with saying things that you would not say if people knew who you were. Um, it allows spreading um, in terms of the um, impact of it so it is unfortunately a tool that can be used for harm and bullying as well thank you so much dr shimmy kang with us this morning on pink shirt day to understand what's behind bullying thank you so much thank for that you. insight breakfast television continues stick around we'll